In this video, let's learn about the venous ulcer. Venous ulcer is found in cases of varicose veins or in problems with venous insufficiency in the lower limb. Coming to the clinical findings. The venous ulcer is usually found in the gator zone. The gator zone is nothing but the inner aspect of the medial malleolus. So this is the gator zone. So the venous ulcer is found in the inner aspect of the distal third of the leg. The shape. It is rounded, elongated or cuff like. The base. The base is flat and covered with a fibrous lobe. Margins. The margins of venous ulcer are sharp or rolled out. So this area is the medial malleolus. It is the most common area for the occurrence of venous ulcers. And here you can note a venous ulcer on the shin. To find out if it is a venous ulcer, we should do some tests. The basic test like taking histories and clinical examination of the lower limb. Level 2. In this non-invasive vascular laboratory testing is done. That is the duplex color scanning. This is an ultrasound like test which detects the venous insufficiency. The level 3 tests are invasive investigations and these are more complex imaging studies that includes ascending and descending venography, varicography, venous pressure measurements and the magnetic resonance imaging. So MRI of lower limb coming to the management. The first step is to do dressings. We must follow occlusive dressings and low adherent gauze dressings. In larger venous ulcers, the surgical debridement is a must. In this, the devitalized tissue around the ulcer is removed. This process makes healing faster and adding of enzymatic agents. So in dressing, these enzymatic agents are used to break down the necrotic tissue. Growth factors are used. Adding growth factors are helpful in cases of long-standing venous ulcers and they make healing faster. These growth factors are synthesized by many cell types such as platelets, neutrophils and epithelial cells. The most commonly used growth factor is Regranex. The bioengineered tissue. These are used for non-healing ulcers. Example, Aplicraft, Dermagraft. And the last option to manage a venous ulcer is skin grafting. So if all the above steps fail, the skin grafting comes into action. So if you or anyone you know have varicose veins, you should take measurements so that it won't lead to venous ulcer. Try avoiding long periods of standing. Avoid crossing of legs. Maintain ideal body weight. If you have varicosities, use a compression stockings that is elastic compression bandages or pneumatic compression therapies. Or you can also follow vein ablation treatments like sclerotherapy or foam sclerotherapies. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel.